Step out of your house and right onto the sand. A morning swim, afternoon fishing, sunset and cocktails by the surf. This is beachfront living. And it's only for the rich. Or so you thought. 139,000? That is an incredible bargain. It's like we're stealing a piece of paradise. I know. Oh, wow. I never thought we could afford something like this. Today, we're beachfront bargain hunting on Dolphin Island, Alabama. Houses here can cost well over a million dollars, but we're looking for a little slice of paradise for a budget of 215,000. And we want to be right on the water. So, that's it. You ready? <laughs> the price is great. Get ready to beachfront bargain hunt. We're gonna throw it right out there towards that pole. You got it, dude. I'm Daniel George. And I'm Alicia George. We've been married for seven years. We have two beautiful children, Daniel and Grace, twins. Oh, man. We went in for the ultrasound, and the technician touched her belly and then pulled it away. It was and like, <gasps> Did you see two heads? Thankfully, it was two different children. <laughs> um. <laughs> we live in Mobile, Alabama. We load the kids up almost every weekend, head down to Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island is about 45 minutes south of Mobile. It's the barrier island that protects Mobile, Alabama from the Gulf of Mexico. I pretty much lived on Dolphin Island while I was growing up. So did she. It's a nature lover's paradise. I mean, you have a huge bird sanctuary. It has gorgeous white sandy beaches. We can go swimming. We can ride our bikes. We go out fishing. I want to catch a fish. You want to catch a fish? Fishing is a big part of our lives. It's what we do. We stole our fish. The kids are growing up pretty quick, and I want them to have the same experiences that we had. We really want a house on Dolphin Island, but I hope there's Hopefully. one we can afford. Look at that one. That is nice. I, remember. I don't even want to know how much that one costs. We've been driving around the island for a while looking for a beach house that's affordable. You know, we both work hard all week. I'm an automated welding programmer. And I'm an office manager. So we're not millionaires at all. We're looking for something that's going to be affordable. It may be difficult to find a place in the budget that we've set for ourselves, but we're about to meet with a realtor, and hopefully she'll be able to find us something. Well, tell me some of the things you're looking for in a property. Well, it has to be on the water. I but... would love to have easy beach access. Yeah, that's not as important to me. I'm all about fishing. I want easy access for the boat to the Gulf. You want a boat slip, then. You uh, want a dock. Well, we want a boat lift. lift. We're also looking for a place with about two bedrooms that will be easily rented all the time. So what is your budget for this property? Um, about 215000 Maybe, Maybe just a hair more. OK, well, that's going to cancel out the east end of the island, because most of the properties there are a million. Oh. <laughs> that's OK. I can already think of several properties that could work for you. Hey, great. Wow, that's Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. We never thought in a million years that finding a beachfront home as a second place would be a possibility, a possibility for us. This is the street right here, honey. I'm glad you were paying attention. Yeah, always. We're really excited to see a house Dot's going to show us in Sandpiper. Might be tough to find one in our budget, but we're hoping that if we look hard enough, it'll be there. Hey, is that it with the uh, green roof? Great. Look at that. Look at the porch. Come that up both ways. That is a big deck. This house is listed for two twenty four nine, dollars and it's a bargain for this area. It's located on a canal, but there's beach just down the stairs, so they can have it all. I love this little beach Look area at it. right here. The kids would have so much fun. I know. You guys ready to look at Sandpiper? Sure are. OK, well, follow me. OK. Great. Look at this great view. We have water over there. We have water over here. Perfect place to put your boat. Well, there's no boat lift. But it has a lot of great features. You're going to love this house. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's a little more than we're talking about. It's 224.9. Oh. But as far as beach house bargain hunting goes, 
This place is a winner. There are several other rentals on the street, and I think you could probably expect somewhere between 1,000 to 1,500 a week during the prime season. Hey, that's great. Uh, that is, and further down the street last year, one of the houses sold for 600,000. Really? Wow. Yes. So 2249, if you can be in a neighborhood where houses sell for over half a million dollars. Right. I really like this dog. Yeah, I like it. It's you long, can... there's a lot of space. Yeah. You just see the kids fishing right here. Probably would. I don't know though, a boat lift's gonna be expensive. I know, right? Then once we put one in, yeah. pretty big hike to get to the sound. The fact that it doesn't have a boat lift makes this house way over our budget. Yeah, budgets can be stretched. I'm going to push you in the water. Oh, this is a great deck. You're going to love it. I love oh, the size. Look how big it is. Think of all the parties you can have up here. You sure could. Go take a seat. OK. Just imagine yourself here. Just the two of you and the kids are playing. Got a beer in your hand. Sounding better all the time. Yeah. Come on, Alicia. Get Check into it. it. Yeah. Play back. Relax. She's trying not to like this house, I can tell. We're going to have to uh, get her past that budget thing. Alicia is a little more serious, and I think she's the practical one in the family. So she's the one we're going to have to convince. And see, you have this great covered area. Wraps all the way around. It's got all kind of deck space, but that's a lot of maintenance. That's a lot of upkeep. It is, but if the kids are playing on the beach there, you just read your book over here so you can sort of keep an eye on them. And water's shallow over there. You can see there. so much from right here. Everywhere you look, water, water everywhere. So why don't you guys take a look? OK. Right, great. Let me know what you think. Wow. Wow. This is really nice. Look at how open it is. I like the paneling on the walls. Never thought I'd say that, but I, I do. I like it. Tons of people in here out on the deck. Yeah. I like how you've got the sliding glass doors on both sides. You could just open them both and have a nice breeze going through here. Wouldn't right. have to run the air condition as much. I like how big the kitchen is, but we have to update it a little bit, though. Yeah. Let's go look at the rest of the house. Oh, the kids would love this bedroom. Access to the deck. That's very attractive to folks, you know? Yeah. You don't have to walk through the house and disturb other people to get outside. The second bedroom. Oh, all right. As far as renting it out, it sleep a lot of people. Oh, I know. The master bedroom Ooh, look is at this. really large. Yeah, it's there's huge. plenty of room in here. Have a big, huge, like, painting of a seagull. I could do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love how the vanity's right here. Uh, I like it, Alicia. I do, too. Tough decision. I know. After seeing the house, I was very surprised at the price. Even though it was a little bit more than we had talked about spending, it's an excellent deal at that price. What do you think? I really like this house. I, mean, I do, too. Just... But you know, they are asking more for it. We'll have to figure out how much it's going to cost to get the lift put in, add that to the price. We'll just have to see if we can swing it. We'll see. This is the fish camps. Each house comes with its own boat slip. Priority okay. number one. And the price is great. Oh, wow. Hey, kids, what do you want to do? Well. All right, everybody, hold on. We load the kids up almost every weekend, head down to Dolphin Island. Come on, bud. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, we just go to some of the more remote beaches around Dolphin Island, spend the day, eat lunch, come back later. We love the island. It's our paradise. Yeah. So buying a place isn't just an investment for us. It's an investment for the kids, too. Coming home to our own vacation home on Dolphin Island, that's the dream. We may be able to make our dream come true, even on our tight budget. Dot showed us a house on Sandpiper. I love the fact that it's got a lot of space, but it doesn't have a boat lift. Other than that, great place. The fact that it doesn't have a boat lift makes the price way above our budget. Not way above the budget. Yeah, I mean. it's 215 is our budget. OK, yeah. It's above budget. <laughs> oh, this is it here? Right at the base of the bridge, huh? Yeah. So as soon as you come on, Yeah, first thing you see when you get to the island, right? 
This is the fish camps of Dolphin Island. It's a condo complex, and it has a lot to offer. Look at all these beautiful colors. Looks like a bunch colors. of Easter eggs sitting side by side, doesn't it? So this house has one bedroom, one bath. It's 600 square feet. Oh, wow. That's... 600 square feet. That is small. And one more thing, it's 139. What? 139,000? That's it? Yes. Really? Goodness, it'd be hard to find a lot, just a <laughs> lot, without a house for 139 it on the would. water. It would. Wow. You're right, Daniel. We had no idea it would be almost 100,000 less than our budget. What do you think, babe? You like the view? I do. I really love the view. Look at the sound over there. I know. You see the marina? Yeah. But look how close the houses are. They are. They're that, extremely close together. Is that but, good you know, or bad? It can be both good and bad, I guess. Party depending on, on who's your who your neighbor is. Oh wow. This is nice. This place is like brand new. I know. It's what? all modern. I like the modern. Look at the floors, babe. I know. No carpet. Because you know sand's coming in with the kids. Come up the stairs, it gets on the floors, vacuum it up, sweep it up, you know? There, right. There's no carpet to ruin. Oh, wow. Is it bunk beds? This is the bedroom? Mm, where's the rest of it? This is, is really it? small. Look, this is the end of the camp. Keep going? Well, it goes oh, it doesn't go very far, room. does it? I'm I guess see. we were just I'm in the bedroom. I'm going to see if these beds are long enough for me. Oh, yeah. But I think we were actually just in the bedroom <laughs> with the couch. Yeah, you might have been in your. You might have been in your bedroom. I'm not sleeping on a fold-out sofa. Yep, it folds out. This one folds out too. Mm. Even though the fish camp is priced great, if it doesn't meet our needs for our vacation property and a rental property, it's just not going to work. What did you think? Hey. This is a great piece of property right here. But it's small. It is tiny. <laughs> this is going to be a tough decision with our kids only being six years old. As they get older, the size may become an issue. Yeah, with we're going to need more family. room. But what this unit lacks in size, it makes up for in amenities. This one's not all about the house. There's a lot more that I want you to see. Each house comes with its own boat slip. Yes. And this house even has a lift. It does have a boat it lift. It does well, have a lift. Priority that's, number one, that's right? That's great. And you can drop your boat and be out in the sound in like two seconds. I know. It's not very far, is it? No. If you want your own private beach, just hop in your boat. And within minutes, you can be in a little piece of heaven. Now, Doc, let me ask you, how do these rent compared to the houses on the island? Well, people like to rent them for a weekend or a long weekend. OK. The dock at the fish camps wrap all the way around the property. You can walk anywhere you want to on the docks. It's almost like a resort. Other houses don't have all the amenities that we have here. And one of the things is this beautiful pool. So, Whoa. I mean, this is just great. Bring the kids here and come swimming. Good way to cool off on a hot summer day. Check out the temperature, babe. You want to get in there? Is it heated? No, for the winter? it's not heated. OK. Oh, yeah. it's. Very cold right now. Is it really? <laughs> Here, you want to feel it? I'm good. No? You OK? It's like a real vacation, you know? You have a pool, and you still don't have to keep it up. It's, it's looking better and better. Here is something out back that I think you're going to love. That's <laughs> nice. All right, sold. That's it. You ready? <laughs> It was part of a ship. over there and let me take a picture. Now that we're house hunting, we have an opportunity to explore everything that the island has to offer. Uh, stand up, stand bad up. idea, bad idea, bad <laughs> idea. Fort Gaines is a Civil War era fort. It was actually used in the Battle of Mobile Bay. Who wants them to shoot the cannon? Me. Lots of history Lots. here, yeah. Damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. That came from the Battle of Mobile Bay. Fire in the hole. Wow. <laughs> Was that fun or what? Oh, <laughs> We're looking for a beach house on Dolphin Island, Alabama, in the price range of about 215000 Dot showed us a house on Sandpiper. The beach is just right across the street. But it didn't have a boat lift, and it's over budget. The fish camp is really small, and the price is also pretty small. 
Now we're headed to the house on Polaris. The neighborhood looks really great. I like how the canals come right from the sound and then they just dead end right here. Yeah. This area of the island is very popular and a lot of the houses go for twice the amount that they're asking for this one. Here it is, Polaris. All right, I love the color blue. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's 229. Hey, does the boat come with it? No, the boat doesn't come <laughs> with it. But there is something I want you to see out back that I think you're going to love. Hey, hey, a boat lift. That's <laughs> nice. All right, sold. That's it. You ready? <laughs> Let's go sign the papers. That's all we need. We don't need a house. We just need a boat. I That'll knew seal you were the deal. Say that. I knew you were. <laughs> and besides the boat lift, you have a fish cleaning station. And you're only 50 yards from the Mississippi Sound. Oh, yeah. This looks it's like the perfect great. location. Boat hits the water, and we're gone. The dock at Polaris is pretty much everything we need. Figure it out. Just please don't. Why? Because you're going to break well, it, and then we're going to have to buy it. Buying a place with a boat lift, it's a good investment. That one work? I think that's enough, honey. Uh -huh. We're good. That, that's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. So don't you love this? I do. Is, I love the size of this deck. This is nice. Look how much room there is up here. Is there public access to the, the gulf right there? There is. Okay. You can just walk down the street, maybe 800 yards. Maybe, yeah. Ready to take a look on the inside. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm, this is pretty old. Looks like we'll probably have to redo the kitchen, babe. Uh, I don't know. I like how it's kind of open. I can sit on the couch and watch you cook. <laughs> Look at this coffee pot. You ever seen one of those? I haven't. We're probably too young. Looks like it may have a roof leak, too. Oh, I'd say so. All right. Already got a nice beach theme. Big windows in the front, looking at the water. It is uh, a little bit bigger than I was expecting. It has potential. I would want to replace the carpet, do hardwood. Yeah, all the floors yeah. so far need replacing. So we're already looking at having to gut everything. just about everything in here. Yeah. Go in this bedroom first. Yeah. Bedroom number one. Two kids here, two more kids here. You get a lot of folks in here. Rental income is important, especially if we have to increase our budget. Bedroom number two. It's a little bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah. You crack the windows at night and we can hear the uh, Hear the, the water? Yeah. One bath. Wow. Kids will be fighting over that as well. Well, yeah, there's just one. We're a bit confused. Dot just told us that this place was a three bedroom, but we only see two. All right, Dot, <sighs> not quite as excited anymore. <laughs> oh, this is the part to be excited about. I know, The outside I know. is the just The outside is gorgeous. great. And you haven't seen everything yet. Oh, really? Come on in. Oh, it's another bedroom. All right. And a washroom. This bath's nicer than the other bath. Um, it is a good place, though, to have your washer and dryer. I mean, you're going to be washing beach towels. Yeah. And you're going to be hanging swimsuits out yeah. on the deck. And hey, if so. it floods, it's a concrete floor. Exactly. You haven't you hurt sweep anything. Sweep it out. Yeah. So you had a look around. We what did. do you think? Well, first of all, I love the boat lift. Love the location. Everything about the outside is great. But it's still on the high end of our budget. Even at that price, this location, I mean, that's a value there. Once we make the cosmetic repairs, it's, it's really everything that we want. I think we got a lot to think about. We do. Very excited about getting a place down here. Nice. I love it. Well, we got a few good places to choose from. Yeah, we do. Sandpaper had that big deck. It has the best view. It does. Yeah. Really love the fact that it's close to the beach on either side. What I love about Sandpiper is how big it is. That'll bring in a lot of renters. But we did say that a boat lift was a priority, right? Right. I mean, that's going to add to the cost, and it's already over the budget, right? Yeah. Without the boat lift, I just don't see it feasible. Are we crossing that one off? Might as well, yeah. So we got, what, fish camps and players? Uh, one thing I love about Polaris is it already has a boat lift and a fish cleaning table. It's really set up for having a boat and fishing. It's the got whole a... inside is just outdated. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty old, but you know it's got a nice big deck on the top. And how about downstairs bedroom for I... family members you don't care for? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a few of those. I don't know the fish camps. It was all modern, up to date. 
as far as staying there with two six-year-olds, it's the least practical. Right. We would be packed inside like sardines in a can. We're gonna outgrow that place quickly. But look how far below budget it is. So yeah. we could always sell, sell it, it, you know, in a few years if we decide that it's just not big enough. As far as fishing and the boat goes, it has a boat lift. It's right by the marina. I know which one I want. I know which one I want. Are you thinking the same one I'm thinking? I hope so. Hi. Hey, Dot. Hey, Dot. Did you make a decision? We did. We did. And which one did you choose? Well, we picked the fish camp. The fish camp. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it has everything we wanted. It has the pool, it has the dock it has all the, the way price. around. <laughs> And the unbelievable price. Especially right on the water, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I've been a realtor for eight years on this island, and that is an incredible bargain. All right, we're real happy about it. Welcome to Dolphin Island. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What we love the most about the fish camp is that it's gonna make it so easy to do the things that we love to do. Y'all having fun? You know, after we've got settled in, size really isn't an issue. You do some jumping jacks. The kids absolutely love the place. You know, they don't want to come inside. Tell her to sit. Now she. We met great people that live here, and although the houses are close together, we still all get along and uh, it's a great community. It's a great I mean. community.